okay, okay, okay. What's going on out there, YouTube? Okay, so I know a few different people. I've gotten asked this a ton of times, actually, though. How do you work out on the road? How do you stay fit on the road? How do you, you know what I mean, uh, keep up your sexy while you're on the road, right? Well, uh, first I'll give you a little look into how I started working out. What was the reason I started working out? This road I'm on is a little rough right now. Alright, it's a little better. Um, well, I started working out because I was homeless and I needed to shower, right? So, I was like, I was like 130 pounds and uh, I, I was homeless so I knew I needed to shower though, right? And I was embarrassed to go into the gym and just walk right out. I don't know why I would be embarrassed to something like that, but uh, so, so I was like, well, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go in the gym, I might as well start out. Cause I played football in high school, so I, only time I ever, like throughout high school, um, I was always in football, you know what I mean? Football, ran track, things like that. And uh, afterwards is when I fell off, I got into the car business and uh, I started working all, all day, all night. And uh, I, just, I just fell off, right? So, anyway, so yeah, I started working out um, at the gym. Um, and, and you know, and, and then eventually it just, you know what I mean? I started noticing, like, it, it, you know, um, I started noticing uh, my improvements and I was homeless for a few months so I went like three months straight, you know what I mean? Because I didn't have a choice. Um, so then I started, you know what I mean, seeing my gains and I started, uh, uh, just, I was just improved, you know what I mean? And I stuck with it ever since it's been, um, I've been consistently at it for like three years now, about three years now consistently. Um, so, but how do you do it while you're on the road? Like, how do you get to Planet Fitness? How do you, get, like, Planet Fitness is gonna be the only gym, if you're a truck driver, that's gonna have gyms everywhere, literally, you go. So, uh, if you got Planet Fitness, you got Anytime Fitness or anywhere, Anytime Fitness or anywhere, uh, what else? 24 Hour Fitness on the West Coast and now South, they don't have them anywhere up north and things like that, or north northeast. Uh, but Planet Fitness is going to be the only gym that's going to be everywhere you go in the United States, literally. So, how do you do it? Um, here's one way. Uh, you go to a truck stop, or maybe pull over on the side of the road, or you get to the truck stop in uh, populated cities, well populated cities. And uh, you Google, is there a Planet Fitness there, okay? There's a Planet Fitness over there. <clears throat> is there a spot that I can go park in the back uh, so I can have my trailer with me? If you were the company uh, where you can drop your trailer, you maybe drop your trailer uh, at a truck stop, pay for a parking spot at the truck stop so you know it's not gonna get towed. And uh, then go to the gym. Uh, or if they got room there, you can pull around back. You see, uh, Planet Fitness has parking in the back of it, or you can pull your truck and trailer in the back of it. Or usually it's a lot of them that are next to Walmart. You can pull up in Walmart. Walmart always has truck parking. Uh, either that or go to a truck stop. <clears throat> Get your Uber. Get your Uber. It's probably going to be like 10 bucks. Planet Fitness are literally everywhere, so it's never far away. Right? How do you stay motivated to keep working out? I grew up fighting a lot, and I always got into fights with bigger people. You know, always bigger people had like, like I remember freshman year fighting this one dude. He was like probably like 180. I was probably like 120. You know what I mean? But when I mean, I, that's just how I was. You know what I mean? I had a quick temper, so you know what I mean. And, and, it didn't really matter to me, you know what I mean? So, and then kept going into, just getting into it with random people, for, for just like random shit, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know, just, you know what I mean? Just like random weird shit. I just kept getting into it with people. So I got to the point where I remember a lot, oh, I fought this one dude. We fought like two or three times, back to back to back to back. He had like, he was probably like 170, I was probably like 130. 
And you know, I mean, I got quick hands. It might not have came with the most power at the time, but uh, you know what I mean? He, he, oh, he wasn't wanting to fight with me. He was wanting to grab me, pick me up, and try to slam me and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I got to get my weight up out here. You know what I'm saying? So that's another reason. Another reason of, of true motivation, the most reason of motivation is you feel hot, you feel good, you feel attractive. You, you know what I mean? You know that women look at you and, and they want you. You know what I mean? You, you know, I mean, I'm a heterosexual male, so that's all I think about. You know what I mean? I, you ever been, I, I go to, you know, I, I drive in pool parties. You know what I mean? I, I leave with like five girls. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how that goes. You know what I mean? Like, I have groups of girls that just, you know what I'm saying? Like I have, I walk in the, I walk in the place like women are like, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous. Like, oh my God, your muscles, your body, women love muscles. My boy, Chris told me a lot. He was like, bro, like, he, he, he was one of the main ones that convinced me. He's like, bro, like you should work out because girls, and he's, a, he's a big dude too. Chris has always been a huge dude. You know what I mean? Always had the most finest girls, bro. Like a lot of them too. Every time, like every day, like going up enough. That's funny why Chris became one of my best friends really close, really quickly because he was always around beautiful women. Like he always knew where to go to have beautiful women. Beautiful women. We just we were around them all the time. You know what I mean? So that's what that was, you know what I mean? That was that was a, one of the main reasons why I like Chris, not only to mention he was a good person, like uh, like he's the type of person like <clears throat> If, you, if he comes over, if you come over to his house and he's eating, he's not going to eat in front of you. He's going to make sure he asks you what time you, if you want to eat too, if you want something to eat. You know what I mean? So that those those are my motivations, you know what I mean? I enjoy, you know what I mean, being able to pick and choose as well, you know what I mean? So that's awesome as well, you know what I mean? So those are just my motivations. Those are things that keep me motivated. Um, you know what I mean? And uh, that those are my motivations, you know what I mean? So I definitely, uh, this is a lifestyle for me, you know what I mean? And it's not going to stop, you know what I mean? Because it's changed my life, you know what I mean? Like, I've always had pretty girls that like, you know what I mean? Around and stuff like that. So that's not really just the main reason, but it's more like it's, it's a desire, you know what I mean? So it's dope. But, yeah, those, those are my reasons that, you know what I mean, I work out, why I work out, and, uh, and uh, yeah, man, so, you know what I mean, find your motivations, you know what I mean, why do you want to live, why do you, I mean, you know what I mean, the why has to be greater than the effort, and all those thoughts that are going to be like, bro, oh, like, I don't feel like doing this today, like, uh, you know what I mean, you got to find those motivations, like, no, I'm doing this, and I enjoy uh, how it makes me look, the feeling it gives me, um, and the reactions last last of all, you know what I mean? How people react to you should never actually it shouldn't really be your main determining factor because if people didn't react to you that way, you wouldn't feel as good about yourself. So you gotta just really decide why it is that you wanna do it. You know what I mean? Uh being healthy, knowing that you can if if you need to carry a, all the groceries in at once, you can do it if you need to lift up something if you need to do it like you know what I mean just being physically fit healthy knowing that uh if anything came that you would need to uh you know what I mean physically be uh it would basically you can help yourself you can lift up a tire you can you can you know what I mean if you need to jack it up you can do all that you know what I mean it just gives you a sense of a confidence it's also accomplishment uh when you look at yourself in the mirror, like you see yourself, you know what I mean? And you feel attractive, like you feel attractive, you know what I mean? So that's a other things as well. So uh, yeah man, so you just gotta find your reason. What is your why and why you do it and your why has to outweigh anything else, you know what I mean? And, and that's gonna be your motivation. So that's how I do it, that's how I stay fit on the road. I hope this guys gave you a little bit of motivation to do it for yourself, you know what I mean? And uh yeah, man, y'all stay fit, you know what I mean? Keep working out. <clears throat> uh, keep yourself motivated, find your why. And uh, after two or three months, you're going to find more whys. You know what I mean? So that's why. So y'all take it easy, man. And uh, y'all have a good day. Keep trucking. Keep your eyes on the road. Stay safe. Uh, let, me look, let me see what my gas miles are right now, man. Woo!
Yeah, we ain't gonna show that. I mean, it's only a hundred miles. So it's, not, it's not as beautiful as I like to be, but we're, we're above the seven. We're above the seven. So. <laughs> All right, man, y'all take it easy, man. Y'all have a good day and uh, keep trucking, man. Stay on the road, stay fit, and I'll uh, see y'all in front of fitness.